What is up everyone and welcome to Cam's Travels, or should I say Tia Ora, which is welcome in the native language here in Volcano Bay. As you can tell, I am here at the reopening weekend of Volcano Bay, which I think is the best water park in all of Orlando. And yes, I have been to Aquatica and the Disney water parks, so I have that to compare to. I am super excited that Volcano Bay is reopened, but it's time to have a great day at Volcano Bay. There is a brand new photo spot here in Volcano Bay overlooking the main entrance. And here we are everyone, welcome to Volcano Bay. Just to let you all know, you can rent towels here but they do cost $4 a towel so I recommend you bring your own towels here to Volcano Bay. So now it is time to lay my stuff down and go find a seat and then we can go get in the water or find some slides to ride. So I do want to tell you all the mask policy here at Universal's Volcano Bay. It is encouraged to wear throughout the park, but you must wear them in dining, merchandise locations, as well as entering and exiting the park. Now on the rides, you cannot wear them at all because it is a safety hazard for the water rides and as well as in the water. Now let's go have some fun around the park. Here is a look at the wave pool here with the staple icon of the volcano in the background. If you guys look really closely, that is a drop slide. I will definitely be doing that later. Unfortunately, I can't take my phone on that. You all will not see that. Um, but I'll try to get some footage of other people going down. Volcano Bay is one of the most beautiful water parks I have ever seen. But let's take a quick trip around the water park to show you guys everything they have to offer. So everyone, this right here is called your Tapu Tapu. It is basically like a magic band for Volcano Bay, but is used for your virtual lines Every ride can be a virtual line or a ride now, as you can see right here. And it can also be used for mobile payments and to scan for photos. So they give you one of these when you enter the park in the morning, they scan your ticket, then scan your Tapu Tapu, and you're ready to ride. So everyone, this is one of two Volcano Bay's rivers. Now this is called the Rapid River. You do need a life jacket to go into the Rapid River, but let me show you something cool about the Tapu Tapu here. If you head over here and touch your Tapu Tapu right here, there's a water feature. They do have a bunch of these Tapu Tapu interactive things around the park, so make sure you're on a lookout when you're here at Volcano Bay. Here's the most popular ride, the Krakatau. It is a 50 minute wait. So you just tap your band, and there you go. It gives you the wait time on your Tapu Tapu. I'll be back in 50 minutes. For those of you that do not know, I did start my own Patreon account about two weeks ago. So if you all would want to support my channel even more, hit that link in the description down below and donate to my Patreon account. Now, by supporting me on Patreon, you guys give me the opportunity to do some amazing trips, go some amazing places. Now, I do have one in mind, crossing my fingers that everything goes through. Um, and you also get some behind the scenes footage uh, if you join my Patreon. I can show you behind the scenes things or things I'm doing in the future so you guys can kind of get a full update or kind of a sneak peek, a preview of what I'm gonna do for future videos. Now these are two of my favorite slides, but unfortunately because I am here by myself, I will not be able to ride them. That one there is a half pipe and this one is just like a family tubing ride. Wish I could ride these, but I will definitely hit these next time I come. Here is the Cabana Bay Tower that I do want to stay in one time because of the amazing views you get of Volcano Bay from 
the comfort of your room. Guys, let me know down below in the comments if you want me to do a staycation at Cabana Bay because it is literally one of my favorite resorts here at Universal Orlando. Another cool thing that Volcano Bay has is these water misters that go out onto the pavement to cool off the ground while you're walking around the park. I am sitting here in my lounge chair and I have about 35 minutes until I can ride a Krakatoa, so I think it is time to go to the Rapid River. So I have now switched over to the GoPro and we are in the Rapid River. It literally just takes you away. like. And everyone is required to wear a life jacket while in here because look how crazy this gets. So I still have a little bit more time before I go on crack a towel. So let's go on Kunga Racers. <laughs> Another cool picture area, everyone, is right here. This is a self photo taking stand. This is actually where I started my video earlier. So, what you do is you come over here, tap your band, and then it'll take your picture. So, then after you take your photo, it is sent to your email address. I think, oh, my emails are linked to Emily's account. Well, she's here in spirit, so. Thanks, Emily. I'll be getting my pictures later. This is one of my favorite views in all of Volcano Bay. You are over top of the wave pool and get this amazing view of the volcano. So from this bridge here, you can get a way better view of the body drop slide at the top of the volcano. I think it's time we head inside. Let's uh, go under this waterfall. Here we go. Ooh, that's cold. So after walking through the volcano, I think it is time to go ride the best ride here the water roller coaster, Krakatau. And when I tell you all it is the best ride here, it truly is the best ride. It is a legit water roller coaster. Gosh, I can't wait. I've missed this ride so much. My Tapu Tapu just reminded me that it is my return time to ride Krakatau. So the nice thing about the virtual wait is once you tap into the ride, it is basically a walk-on so that everyone is socially distanced out and everyone stays safe. So now let's go right crack and tell. Like I said, the best right here. to ride this one early guys because it is the most popular it is now an 85 minute wait so that will be my last ride of the day here are two more raft slides here at volcano bay rocky and tonga they're both at a ride now status let's go ride them you do get some pretty amazing views up here as you are literally looking over the whole park So these are the oh no and oh yeah slides, as you guys can see. They're the slides that you're falling into the water. You really fly off of the slide and into the water. Unfortunately, I cannot film on these because they don't allow loose articles because you could lose them here in the 10 foot pool that you drop into. But I'll get some footage of other people flying off and then I will go ride it myself. All right, everyone, I am in the pool next to the volcano. And I'm going to show you something really, really cool in here. Well, not only do you get an amazing view of the wave pool, you look like right next to it and look over top of it. But as y'all can see, this little tube right here is actually the main drop side into the volcano. And you can actually view underneath the water. Let me show you. So in the same pool that I was watching the slide over there, they have this cool water feature. I can tap this. There's music underwater. <laughs> If any of you are looking for a great place to get drinks, Dancing Dragons is the bar I recommend. 
here's my drink. Let's go relax on the beach chair. I'm gonna be honest, there's not many views that could beat this. So after I sit here, relax a little bit, and finish my drink, I will head on to the big boy slide, so the drop slide into the volcano, the shooting slide that I showed you guys earlier, and then I will come back, grab my camera, and we will end the day in the wave pool. But so far, this has been an amazing day. I truly do love Volcano Bay. It is the best water park in the Orlando area. If you all have been enjoying this video so far, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Now, Volcano Bay does have a lot of great food options. I will not be eating today here because I am an annual pass holder so I can come anytime I want. Now, if there is anything in this video that I do not cover, leave it down below in the comments and I will make sure that I cover that the next time I come here to Volcano Bay. All right, everyone, it is time for me to head on those big boy slides. So I'm gonna put you guys in the locker and I will see you soon. tell you all that is one of the best slides here it's not the best Krakatau is the best but it is 200 steps up the volcano to get to that slide now you do drop 150 feet in five seconds which is literally insane um, you literally can't see anything when you're on the ride because there's so much water in your face but because you are 200 steps up the volcano you can literally see all of Orlando and you can even see the four park icons clearly at Walt Disney World <laughs> Volcano Bay here today. I had an amazing time. Once again, my favorite water park in the Orlando area. If you all enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and ring that bell to get notified whenever I post because I do videos in the theme parks every week. I will be back here at Volcano Bay very, very soon. So like I said earlier, if there's anything that I didn't cover that you all want to see, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and I will cover it the next time I'm here at Volcano Bay. But with that being said, it is the end of today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.